Hello Fish Fam It's been a while since I make an update on my 5 gallon planted aquarium So it's been a month now so this is the time to make an update of this tank So with regards to my dwarf Saj, as you can see here, I really really like the carpet look of it because it already carpeted from the left up to the right so I'm very very happy because it looked like a jungle or a carpet look. With regards to my floating plants, my water lettuce as you can see above there's a lot of runners going and it's really really adapting very well so i'm dosing this tank with a co2 and i'm running this light or these aquarium lights for about eight hours a day so i have a timer in order for it that the lighting is constant every day I have experience or I have some green spot algae but I am maintaining it so I'm doing a weekly maintenance every Friday so I'm scrubbing the glass and so far the green spot algae is easily to be removed as long as you do your weekly maintenance then you have no problem with that green spot algae with regards to my anubias my anubias barteri they are very doing well except some of the leaves experiencing yellowing in color so I think it's potassium so I'm dosing this with iron supplements and my flourish vitamins and also my Azu plant premium products. So far the new leaf on, on my Anubias is doing well. With regards to my Creep balance, as you can see on the right side. So here is my creep balance. So I really really like the the look of it because it reaches the stem reaches up to the surface. So I really really like the jungle of it. So I'm planning to get some of these creep balance and place it in this area in order for it not to see my power head in order to cover it so that's what I'm planning in the future once I have produced more runners or more stems in this creep balance I'm going to transfer it on the other side so my fishes are doing well and I'm sorry for the dog barking at our neighbor so my fishes are doing well especially my centerpiece fish my harlequin rasboras and I also love my cardinal tetra so I get these cardinal tetras juveniles and now they're already adult size and I have not experienced yet them for breeding so anytime soon my Raminos tetras are also doing well and there are two of them so every time I post a video of this tank some react or some give or most of the viewers or some of the viewers 
give negative feedback because they always say that it is overstock but for me as long as you check on the water parameters and your bioload is balanced and you have no problem with that aside from that my bristlenose pleco my albino is really really very relaxed and he is always grazing on the driftwood so far overall update in this tank I really really love now the outcome because it looks like a jungle now and my little problem is that I want to cover this area with plants in order for it to look more natural so I'm going to get some creep balance once it's already produces more roots or more stems to cover my power head and once I did that or I do that I am already very satisfied of this look so that's an update guys on my five gallon planted aquarium so I'm dosing this with CO2 and I really really love the outcome so if you have any thoughts in this video please feel free to comment like and subscribe and I will see you again next time bye guys happy fish keeping